Well, here we go. Hay season 2023's starting it out. Changing some blades and knives. Had a shear up here, shear gear. We gotta replace. So let's get it back together and then we'll start mowing. Well, it's the start of hay season. So we got a couple of rows done. It's about 30 acres in here that we'll be uh, we'll be mowing. So try to get a little bit of the footage. Try not to bounce around too much, but we'll see. friends uh, this is the start of the uh, hay season it's actually a little bit earlier this year um, we normally honestly don't usually have to cut this between towards the end of April but we've had a really warm spring and this kind of ryegrass really turned on so we are uh, actually mowing it here it's first of April actually um, and generally just a little bit about the process on this I normally with ryegrass we can because the weather is so much cooler uh, this time of year, I usually come in and we'll tet it and uh, let it lay for about two days. Because even though you're you're making wet haylage, um, you still want it to dry so it's about 60% moisture. So we'll come in, we'll mow this, um, we'll actually tet it probably tomorrow, um, maybe the day after, just depends on how much sun we get, how much it dries out. And then we'll have to come back in and rake it and bale it. And uh, I'll have some other videos uh, with the baling uh, and that process of wrapping. Uh, I usually can mow this a little bit faster, but uh, this year it seems like it was just really thick. Um, for whatever reason, maybe I, I planted it just a little bit too heavy. I'm not sure, but uh, I had to actually slow down uh, to allow the knives to pick this up. I mean, it was kind of lodged together, and a lot of it was laying down, etc. So had to slow down took me a little bit longer to mow this uh, 30 acres uh, that we normally have in here and we usually cut this twice so we'll cut it now um, I'll probably come back in here and top dress it just a little bit liquid nitrogen and then we'll we'll bail it again and then um, we'll actually kill everything and go in and plant our summer annuals we like we like planting annuals just because your, your yield is so much higher than, than perennials um, I anticipate on this 30 acres, I should make somewhere around 180, uh, 190 bales, uh, somewhere thereabouts. Um, these are four by four uh, haylage bales. And the reason why you want to make them four by four is just because they weigh so much. With them being 60% moisture, um, they will uh, weigh quite a bit. Um, if you make a four by five, uh, you'd have a hard time handling them and moving them. And, a lot more risk in, in tearing the plastic when you do move them. So we try to do everything for our, our haylage in a four by four size. Um, this is a Vermeer mower conditioner. We've had it for several years now. It's been uh, it's been pretty good to us. Um, this field here is, is clean. Um, there's no rocks or anything in it to, to cause any damage, and it's, it's actually pretty smooth. I'm mean, usually can roll on uh, through this pretty good, but. Hope you enjoy.